Hey guys, just came back from 12th Street and uh, really surprised at what I saw. I would say maybe about a third of the field is playable if you can make it to the field. I mean, um, I had I was stepping in mud that was like coming up almost to my calf. A lot of the field is unplayable. Anyway, here's the video of what I saw. Okay guys, so this is 12th Street about two weeks ago. This is about the 12th of May, 2023. And you can see the green zone there in the back and it is literally about mid-thigh deep. All right guys, so this is the path to Hobo. And we're coming around the corner. Look how green it is out here, man. This is crazy. And the path that I'm walking on is dry. It's not muddy at all. Ooh, Hobo is a swamp, guys. Look at that. It's pretty muddy back here. Holy crap. That is bad. A lot of standing swampy water in here. So, Hobo, for the most part, guys, is not playable. Let's walk on down to the green zone. Be quite honest, as I'm walking here, I can smell the water coming from the swamp. It's pretty bad, it stinks. But here on the trail, on the road that leads uh, to the green zone and hobo back and forth, um, it's damp, but it's not muddy. And you see the cottonwood trees are dropping their cotton. All right, we're coming around the first first olive tree here. Not so bad. All right, let's take a look over here. This is the swamp. Oh yeah, that is swampy. And we're coming up here and rounding the second olive tree. Walking into the green zone. And let's take a look over here. To be quite honest, a little bit of a stream here, but if you look out that way towards the Alamo, it looks pretty clear. Let's hit the green zone. Oh, green zone looks like it is dried out, guys. Not bad, but we do have some debris. Oh yeah, this is dry. Green zone has dried out. Holy crap guys, and we lost a lot of green zone. Look at that. That's that cotton tree that was like right on the edge of the bank. And you can see right there our table and the river is maybe like five or six feet from it. Man, we have lost a lot of territory through here. And you can see right there You can see it's kind of like white water coming out. So I, I have a feeling that this is probably kind of muddy. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. That's pretty deep right there, guys. But look how it's just washed all of this away. Every bit of it is out through here. I'm going to try to make my way out by D-Day, see if anything has happened out there. But for the most part, the field looks clear. So let's try to see if we can find a way around all this mess. Looks like somebody has already been out here. A lot of footprints. This is all new crap. 
but it's not muddy at all and I think I see a way across yep right here I think I can make that and I don't think it's too freaking muddy but I do want to see what the hill looks like and I want to see what the Alamo looks like all right let's check out this mud Ugh. it is slick slickery yep that mud right there is about ankle deep guys you see down through here going up through here look at all that sediment that's been dropped off right there not too bad yep man whoa sinking down guys about to my ankle Whew. yep that is muddy right here yeah look at all the damage and new logs trees felled All right, this part is clean, but look at all the debris. Look at this mess. Look at this, like a sandbar. Looks like the raccoons are out here, out and about. Yeah, look at this, this is all drift. Look at all this mess. That water came through here and scoured everything. Wonder what D-Day looks like. It's starting to get kind of muddy. And I'm coming up on the fort and it looks like it's been scoured. Yep. If I can make it there, through all this debris. Look at my boots. Look how muddy they are. Not too bad right here. Yeah. Little stream running through here. Oops, almost biffed it. Whoa, check this out. I don't recall this being felled. But look at that. That area right there has just been scoured clean. Big, huge sandbar built up here. Coming around the edge of the fort. Look at that mess. Look at that big sandbar right there, guys. See if I can make it over to the Alamo. Ooh. Well, that's muddy right there. Oh yeah, real muddy right here. Big sandbar coming up. Man, there are these like sandbars like this all over the place in here. Driftwood. Places where we had bunkers. The wood is all moved and piled up. Yeah, this place is messed up. Look at this guys. Look at all the debris. Piled up mud. It's crazy. That right there is the bird's nest. 
and you can see it looks different hear that loud rushing yeah I don't think I'm gonna make it back to D-Day so here's the Alamo look at this guys look at the amount of silt and dirt that is built up in this I mean this silt is probably about two feet from the top of D-Day or excuse me from the top of the Alamo here that is just crazy that is completely changed and it looks like be honest with you that the field has gained about two feet and this is how we get to D-Day and that's not happening this is the other side of the field look at that that is well over 100 feet that is just deep over there This is crazy. This is crazy. Well, well, I was going to call a game for this Saturday, but I don't think the field's playable yet. I think if we give it maybe a week or two, because I want to bring you over here to this and show you what this looks like. You know, the Russian water. Look at this, guys. That is crazy. Somebody fell in that. They'd be in a lot of trouble. For the most part, a lot of changes to the field. I mean, look at all this debris out here. God knows what it looks like on the other side of the field. It's probably even worse. I was hoping to get back by D-Day and see if it was still there. But I think there's a snowball's chance of that happening way back in there. So right now, to be honest with you, I don't think the field's playable. I mean, there might be some brave, hardy souls that want to come out here willing to be in knee-deep mud, but uh, kind of not one of them, at least not now. Here, I'm on the field side. There's Fiona. And this is about 10 feet across, quite honestly, probably about knee deep. And look at that debris that has built up on the other side. So, I'm going to walk out now, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, really appreciate it if you give me a subscribe and a like to this video. You guys have a good one. Shrek out.